I think we can all agree that summer is one of the best times to come up with a perfect glow up plan and whether you are trying to embody the Sophia Richie super classy, modest aesthetic or you're trying to go for the coastal cowgirl, very wholesome, very cute, very aesthetic, very Pinterest girl, I've got you covered. In this video, we are going to talk all about assessing your style and going into this new season with a little wardrobe refresh. <laughs> Fernanda, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a fashion related video in a minute and I'm excited for this because the other day I was watching The Devil Wears Prada which is a fashion movie and I don't know how I've never seen it before because it was honestly amazing. It's honestly top number, top five of my favorite movies at the moment and in that movie I was taking notes. I was actually fully taking notes because it got me thinking, do I really like my style right now? If you haven't seen the movie, I won't spoil it for you but basically it's about this girl who's not very into fashion but she decides to be the assistant of an editor of a magazine and she basically goes through the whole fashion industry learning about everything and she is getting critiqued because she is not meant for this fashion world like she just showed up in like a cute little sweater a cute little pair of jeans and she called it a day but stepping into the fashion world people had things to say let me tell you they thought that what she was wearing was like pilling it was old it wasn't flattering it was the wrong shade it just wasn't her thing and it kind of got me inspired in the sense that yes clothes is something that we wear just to throw on our bodies and to just like you know step out into the city but what you wear says a lot about you and the vibe that you're trying to give off and I think I'm gonna try to go into my fashion era if you haven't subscribed make sure you do so already I post new videos every single week and I have a podcast where I upload every single Wednesday on every single streaming platform or on my a better you podcast YouTube channel let's jump into the video <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I've been scrolling on Pinterest. I made a style 2023 board. I've just been pinning a whole bunch of outfits that really resonate with things that I want to wear so that I kind of have a vision for the style that I want to embody, at least for this summer or for the next few months. I think that if you're starting from a brand new place and you're looking for like a new style, it's so important to explore different fashion inspirations, whether that be on Pinterest, magazines, it can be on Instagram by like saving different influencers, outfits that you like, even just going on the street and like seeing other people's style in real life and just drawing inspiration from anywhere that you can take like a mental photo of it I also think that if you don't want to make an actual Pinterest board with like the pieces of clothes that you want to have you can also make a mood board which is kind of photos that resonate with the mood you want to have like maybe this summer you want a very fun flirty mood you can pin photos with that kind of vibe or you can have a very like dark goth mood or maybe you want a very like hippie mood I was looking online to see what kind of mood boards you can make and it says that you can take your saved inspiration and create a physical physical or a digital mood board, I think making a physical copy would be so sick. It says that you can arrange the images, the colors, the patterns, and textures that you find appealing to look for a common theme or elements that emerge from your collection. I think that's a great idea. Creating a mood board could be super fun and it's just a very good visual representation of the vibe that you're attracted to because I also think we get really caught up in doing like vision boards as in our goal settings, but something about doing a vision board mood board for the style that we want just seems even better. The other way that you can make your Pinterest board be what you want it to be and like the ultimate encapsulation of your style is by assessing your lifestyle and preferences. Maybe your lifestyle is super corporate and you have like a full-time job. Maybe you're going to have a different style than somebody who lives a very active lifestyle that maybe wears a lot of active wear or whatever. By doing all those things, you can 100% come up with your perfect Pinterest board. <laughs> Sorry about the mess behind me. This is my filming room and there is so many boxes. But now that we've got the whole Pinterest aesthetic down, we know exactly what you want. I think the next step would be to do a closet clean out. Now I do closet clean outs like once a month. I'll just go through my closet, see what I don't want, take it out. I feel like a good rule of thumb is like if you haven't worn it in the past year or maybe the past six months, are you really gonna wear it again in the future? And also if it doesn't really align with the vision that you are trying to embody, sometimes I'll gravitate towards pieces that 
are old and dingy you know they're not my best pieces rather than going for the pieces that I actually invested and put time into so I feel like for me if I get rid of the clothes that I do not want to wear I'm forced to wear actual outfits and not just like sweats and hoodies and leggings so I'm gonna do a little closet clean out I'm only keeping in pieces that I love that I feel confident in that flatter my body type and that I don't have to second guess because sometimes there's pieces that I like but I know that they'll look good in a photo but the minute that I actually wear them out in public I all of a sudden get so embarrassed because I feel like they don't fit me right also I think cleaning out your closet in general is just good because you can donate things that you don't want and also it'll give you room to see what you actually need if you want to go shopping you know like maybe you realize that you don't have enough jeans or you don't have enough tops that you can wear whenever I'm gonna give you guys a thrift haul because I just got a whole bunch of these new items that I'm so excited to wear for summer Okay, I moved to the floor. I think this is a cuter setup, but I've got all my items behind me. I'm so excited to tell you guys that this video is sponsored by ThreadUp. If you aren't familiar with ThreadUp, I've actually worked with them before and I loved doing it, but this is an honest, 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 honest sponsorship because I have purchased from ThreadUp a few times on my own with my own money and I truly love all the items that I get every single time. ThreadUp is one of the largest online thrift stores and you are able to shop really high quality secondhand items, whether that be clothing or shoes or accessories. I have a statistic here that is so cute and very fitting for me and probably my audience. It says that for every time I wear something I bought secondhand, I save enough water to make 74 matcha lattes. I love that statistic, okay? The fact that it's measured in matcha lattes, they're speaking my language. This is a way that you can do so good for the environment and you guys can use my code FERNANDA to get 40% off your purchase at ThreadUp and you guys can shop my picks with the links down below. We're gonna start with this romper first. Pink is one of my favorite colors on me, so I'm obsessed. It is from the brand Likely. This romper had an estimated retail price of $188 and my ThreadUp price was $38.99. The next item that I have, I'm also super excited for and it literally still has the tag, so that's when you know it is brand new and it is in such good condition but if you couldn't tell by what my style is is I freaking love color I think color makes my skin pop my hair pop my eyes pop and although I want my style to be very classy and like have basic colors I do want pops of color especially in the summer like I think wearing colorful dresses that are flowy just make me feel my best so I'm super excited to wear this also has a little thing around the waist so I can tie up and cinch in the waist this was from the brand aqua and it had an estimated reach Retail price of 204 but the thread up price was $38.99. Next up we have a beautiful silk dress and if you couldn't tell I'm obsessed with silk. I think it looks so classy and pretty and this dress with this kind of neckline I've honestly never had before. I think this is gonna go perfect especially when I go to Costa Rica. Like I can just imagine this dress being the moment and on whatever vacation I go on this will be the one for me. This is from the brand Silk Maison. This also had an estimated retail price of $204 but I got the thread up price of $52.99. This one's actually from Shein. I didn't even realize that but I honestly love the color and I love the way that it fits and that's what matters at the end of the day. The estimated retail price of this was $32 and the thread up price was $17.99. Moving on, I have another dress and I wore this in one of my recent videos where I was styling eyeglasses and there was so many questions on this and this is actually from Banana Republic which is actually becoming one of my favorite stores recently but it is a long maxi dress. The estimated retail price was $75 and the thread up price was $27.99 which I think is a steal and a half. It's giving a very classy, very mom. I love it. Next up, this one was a little bit of a splurge, but I really liked the color and I thought that this would look amazing at like the wineries or something. I can't tell if it's giving like low-key prom dress, but I'm obsessed with the color. I think it is so stunning and would picture really well. This cocktail dress was from the brand Bagley Mishka and it had an estimated retail price of $530 and I got the thread up price of $137.99. Okay, coming up next, I got a black item, which I know this is contrasting to what I just said, but this is perfect for the nights out with the girls nights out getting drinks I feel like this with a little cute skirt and maybe like a colorful bag could be super cute I bought this for $31.99 last article of clothing I have is this pink little kind of like cargo skirt and I got it for $10.99 which is absurd if you ask me you guys may have already seen me wear this because I posted an Instagram picture in it but this gold little bag is from coach and I think it's just so cute and so vintage it is again like I said from literally coach and I got it for $60.99 
$1.99. It was on final sale and I'm just obsessed with this little detail. So I'm so excited about everything that I got. These are definitely my fun, colorful pieces for the summer. Again, if you guys want to use my code, use code FERNANDA for 40% off. Check out the links in the description to check out all things ThreadUp. And in all honesty, I do highly recommend checking out their website. There's literally something for everyone. And yeah, thank you ThreadUp. Now you know the colorful pieces that I'm going to be wearing throughout this summer season. I want to tell you guys about some plastic basic pieces that I'm going to be rocking as well because as you know we can't just be wearing colorful pieces or at least in my opinion. I also want to make sure that I have my basics down so I'm going to tell you my ultimate essentials when building a capsule wardrobe. <laughs> sure what a capsule wardrobe is it's basically having all your basics like blue jeans black jeans a white top a black top whatever and then you can mix and match them all and it gives you like so many more options for things to wear rather than if you have a whole bunch of colorful pieces you can only wear them a few times before it feels a little bit overdone so starting off with what I'm wearing I'm wearing a white little top I feel like white and black you just can't go wrong I'm wearing some blue jeans these are from Oakenfort my belt is from there too which I love I feel like belts are such a big thing right now whether it is a super classic belt or it's one that's a little bit more exciting I'm wearing some gold jewelry and then let me show you some of my new favorite must-have pieces up first we have these pants from Aritzia they're literally called the effortless pants and they are linen pants I feel like these are a great option going into the summer because they're super lightweight and very classy especially if you're having a European summer you need a pair of these they match with literally everything and I just feel so bougie when I wear these as for denim in general I love a good pair of Levi's I actually thrifted these but I'm sure you can find them at any vintage store or there is this one I honestly don't remember the name but I'll put it up on the screen and it's a custom vintage Levi's online stores mine were from vintage mall here in Vancouver and then another big trend with denim I think is denim skirts this is the one that I have it's from gen 7 and it's a dark blue I also have this one which is a little bit of a lighter wash I literally still have the tag on it this is from Lucan and I have this one as well which is a gray dark wash speaking of long skirts this is a new fave of mine this is from Fenity fashion and I wore it recently in an Instagram picture and I'm absolutely obsessed. I love that it has little holes here so you can add a belt and it looks super classy, super profesh and with a pair of pointed toe heels, you will look stunning. Since we're on bottoms, I want to show you guys a new skirt that I recently bought from Zara. Check out how cute this is. I honestly love it and I feel like it looks super unique and pretty high quality. It just has a little tie here which I think is super fun and then a little pocket as well as one pocket on the side there and I even think that this with a little baby tee could look so cute. But you could also dress it up and like have a really unique top or like a bodysuit. Now as well for pants, I love a good trouser, literally any color. I love a good cargo pant. I recently got these ones. They are by the brand Girlfriend and I believe they're from Revolve, but they are just like so nice. They're low-waisted. I kind of love the look of low-waisted baggy jeans and these ones are no exception. So especially with a cute little top, you can't go wrong. Okay, moving on to tops. You guys know I love baby tees. You just can't go wrong with it and I feel so comfortable because it's pretty it's pretty modest, but I don't know if I'm getting to the age where baby tees are giving high school Which if you are in high school, you're vibing. But I mean now that I'm gonna be turning 22 that's actually repulsive. I'm like should I should I elevate my style? You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give you some elevated top options So I think something that's super classic and always trendy and very Copenhagen style is a little blouse like this one It's very Matilda Jerf. This one's actually from garage But you can find so many of these blouses at like Aritzia, Banana Republic, Jerf Avenue Like you can find them anywhere I also have a whole bunch of them from Lucan which are super inexpensive and I think they even look good under sweaters Like when you have a little collar hanging now. Another top option that I recently bought is this little sweater vest, but it's rounded in the neckline And I think that even this and the skirt could look super cute. I kind of like that. It's like muscle tank vibe Now for some unique tank top very fancy items these ones I've just recently got and I'm obsessed They're all silk and they feel so put together I'm gonna feel so like mature and elevated when I wear these this one is like a halter top and it's got a little like scarf thing Which I think is super fashionable. This one is from by beam i'm obsessed i got a size small and then this top that you just saw me wearing in the previous clip is also from by beam and then this 
one, so pretty. It just ties in the back like this. It is super pink Pilates princess ballet inspired. And this one is from Fenity Fashion. So I'm so excited to wear all these tops. I also think you can never go wrong with Aritzia Basics, whether that be a Babaton bodysuit like this one. They have a whole bunch of colors and they're super form fitting and really just make your body look amazing. Or I have this little vest, which I think is adorable and different. And also just like tank tops, honestly anything in the white or black or neutrals is good for a capsule wardrobe. I also recently bought this chunky sweater from Banana Republic and it was on sale for $35. It was originally $190, which is actually actually insane. I would highly recommend going to Banana Republic and looking at their sale section because you can find some really cute stuff there. But I think these sweaters are so cute, especially in the summer to like throw on over if you're at the beach, if you're having a late night, if you are wanting to give old money aesthetic and do the little... It's just so cute, it's so classy, and I love it. I am zipping through all of these, but I just wanna get through them all. We're gonna go on to jackets. I recently got this blazer from Jerf Avenue, and you guys know Jerf Avenue is their queen. I'm obsessed with their stuff, and I'm so excited that I got one of these because these blazers are such high quality, and you can also get really high quality blazers at Aritzia. I think that this is perfect. I wore it the other day with some pointed toe heels and a black mini dress for a dinner, and I got a lot of compliments on it. So, okay, now as for accessories, I think you guys have seen these boats Tega, like earrings but you can get them like literally anywhere just some chunky gold earrings are always so cute I also think that flower detailing is so in right now I recently got this little hair tie from H&M and I can't wait to wear this I think this would look so cute with a little bun you can also never go wrong with a pair of sunglasses these are from Oakenfort and these are from the key I think is how you say it as for shoes I think the shoe of the season right now is the Adidas Sambas which I really want to get but I also love New Balances these are the ones that I currently have that they're a little bit dirty but these are the new balance 574 and i wear these all the time but the ones that i really want are the new balance 550s in all white i do have them in white and dark green but i think an all white would be so cute and perfect with every outfit especially in the summer and then the other thing i wanted to say was i've been loving pointed toe heels i literally have so many now i have an actual collection i have these from nine west that i thrifted these are also thrifted but the brand is amelie and they kind of remind me of ballet flats which i think are super popular right now these are literally a Adorable for spring and I've been wearing them non-stop. The brand is Franco Sarto and these are also from the same brand. I've kind of been abusing them. I've been wearing them so much. They're probably a little bit dirty, but I love the sling back. And last but not least, I have this silver pair from Zara. And I think you guys know that this silver color is literally everywhere. I feel like it was the spring slash early 2023 color. Now let's talk about bags. I recently got this bag from Oakenfort, which I think is super classy. The only thing I will say is that it like doesn't really stay on my shoulder, which really bothers me but I think it's such a nice shape and this one is a similar shape this one is in a dark brown and it's from Oakenfort anyways those are a bunch of my items I'm obsessed with them all if you're looking for some good places to shop at I'll list some of my favorite stores you can refer to this anytime you're looking for a place to shop Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and got a little bit of inspiration to revamp your wardrobe or what I think I'm gonna be wearing going into the summer. I was gonna do some online shopping in this video as well, but I have way too many articles of clothing and I'm actually really happy with everything and how it is right now. I feel like I've got my basics down and I've got my unique pieces to throw in there. So I'm set, I'm excited to rock some summer fashion. If you guys wanna follow my Instagram, make sure you do so because I will be posting in all my outfits and I will give you guys outfit inspiration inspiration and yeah thank you again to thread up for sponsoring today's video i'm so happy with the way everything turned out and i hope you enjoyed it if you watched all the way to the end make sure you comment this emoji down below and give it a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed and i will see you guys so soon i love you